I'd like to look at queries in a little bit more detail, so I'd like to create a new query. I'm going to click the Create tab in the ribbon and choose Query Design. This time I'd like to add the Products table, so I'll click on Products and I'll click on Add, and then Close. I'll just stretch the Products table so I can see all the fields. Let's say I'm after the field Product Name, Quantity Per Unit, Unit Price, and that'll do. Let's say I'd like the result to be sorted by product name. So I'll click in the sort row underneath product name and I'll choose ascending. And let's just have a look at how many of the records there are in total. So when I click the view button, I can see at the bottom of my screen, there's a total of 77 records in this particular result. Now let's go back to the view button and add some criteria. First of all, comparison operators. For example, what if I'm after all those products that have a unit price of 10? Then I would just type 10. When I click the View button and view the results, I can see there are three products with a unit price of 10. Let's go back to the design of the query. What I'm after now are all the products that have a unit price, say, greater than 100. So I'll delete the 10 and I'll put greater than 100. When I hit the View button to view the results, I can see there are two products that are greater than 100. And I'll go back to View again. Let's say I'm after all those products that are not greater than 100, but are in fact greater than, equal to, 25. <clears throat> if I want to include the 25, then I put greater than, equal to, not just greater than 25. And when I view the results, I can see there are 29 products that are greater than or equal to 25. If I go back to the design view by hitting the view button, perhaps I'm after all those products whose unit price is greater than or equal to 25 space and space less than or equal to 100. If I hit the view button, I can see there are 27 products that are greater than or equal to $25 and at the same time less than or equal to $100. And I'll go back to design. So we can use our greater than and less than to find those values or dates or numbers that fall within a certain range. Sometimes though you'll see people using this statement between 25 and 100. And if I view my result I can see that 27 records are between 25 and 100. Between 25 and 100 is the same as writing greater than equal to 25 and less than equal to 100. It includes the 25 and it includes the 100 in the results. Other options might be give me all those products but not the ones that are equal to $10. Not can be written this way, and 10. When I view my results, I can see that 74 out of 77 products are not $10. I could also go back to design and try this, not 10, and view the results. And I get the same result. So these are all the sorts of options you've got available to you. Now you've also got the ability to ask for more than one criteria at a time. For instance, I might say, okay, give me all the products that are greater than or equal to 25 and less than or equal to 100, and they have a product name that begins with S, so S star. When you have criteria on the same line as these two are, then it has to meet both criteria. So this has to give me a list of products whose product name begins with S and at the same time they have a unit price that's greater than or equal to 25 and less than or equal to 100. So let's view the results. So I'll hit the view button. And I can see there are three products between 25 and $100 that begin with S. So that's an example of an AND. And I'll go back to design view. Anything on the same line is an AND. Notice though the word OR appears under criteria. So I might be after all those products whose name begins with S or whose name begins with R. 
star. And at the same time, have a unit price that's greater than or equal to 25 and less than or equal to 100. So this will give me all the products whose product name begins with S and whose price is between 25 and 100, or whose product name begins with R and is, has a unit price greater than or equal to 25 and less than or equal to 100. So let's view the results and have a look. And here I can see I've got two that begin with R between 25 and 100, or three that begin with S between 25 and 100. And I can go back to design view. And you can just keep adding the ors. For example, I might ask for all those products that begin with A, who have a unit price greater than or equal to 10, and less than or equal to 150. So those things on the same line are and, and those things on separate lines are ors. And let's view the results. And here I have two products that begin with A, two that begin with R, and three that begin with S, all within the price range I stipulated.